take it Don't ever regret it Make me your only one You choose it, don't lose That's why I say <clears throat> Be your own leader Especially if you're a man Be, be, a, be your own man and be your own leader Stop Stop trying to uh you know, want somebody else's life or want to be the next man because you don't know what they're doing to maintain, you know, their lifestyle or what they have. Same with the, a woman he, another man has. You, you know, you might want his woman, but you don't know what he goes through to keep her, to keep her happy, or to maintain their relationship. You just don't know. That's why I say I don't want nobody's life. You know, like like Scarface said in that song, a man who follows man, you know, is a follower, you know, not a leader. A man who follows man is a follower and not a leader. That's that's some true stuff. Scarface said that Scarface said in that song, I think the song called Never. You know, none but the truth. And then, you know, it's people like I got relatives, right? They tell me, oh, uh, you know, you you nothing like me. I'm like, you know, I laugh because they tell other people that they tell me that. So I'm like this. Why I want to be like you when you're, you're nothing to be like? You know, make, make it make sense. These people, a lot of these people, they, you know, like I, that's why I tell y'all, be careful who you, be careful who you follow, you know, because people are, people will lead you right off a cliff, you know, you'll think they cool and all that, or just because they popular, they lead you right off a damn cliff. And see, I'm, a, I'm the type of... Uh, I'm a, I'm a leader type of guy anyway. I'm not no follower. I've been like that for a long time. I never feel right really following trends or just like I said, I got my own style as far as like dressing and, and other stuff. I got my own style of doing stuff. I don't want to follow this and that. I don't even want to look like the next man or next person. I got my own style. One way I want to look. I don't care if... Uh, my style of how I look is not popular. I don't care about that. One thing I'm going to tell y'all, you know, be yourself. You know, stop trying to be like this and that person. Stop trying to be like these uh, damn sellout celebrities because that's what they are, sellouts. A lot of them are high-paid slaves and they don't even, like I said, they, you look at it like this, you have way more freedom than a lot of them do because they sell out. So once you sell out, they basically they basically uh they basically can't talk when they want to talk or, or talk about what they want to talk about. They gotta talk when they told to talk. It's like a script. I was watching one video. It's like a script. So it's like they can't even say what they want to say. So it's like why have all this money and all this. Uh, this and that is status if you don't have no, you know, no freedom. You know, that's my question to people. Yeah, people, some people would tell me, oh, oh uh, you, you, you nothing like me. I'm like, <laughs> that's why I said when I hear people say that, I laugh because these are the same kind of people, you know, as far as like I said, the older women, you know, I, I be seeing older women and uh, especially ones in the family, they would try, they would give younger women stupid advice on try, you know, how to be like them, but like I said, they nothing to be like.
they give these younger women dumb advice on how to be like them, how to be sneaky like them, you know, how to be conniving like them, how to be professional lies like them, all while looking good. You know, that's all they they that's all they they be leading people to do. And then they talk about people ain't nothing like them. <clears throat> you know, you ain't nothing to be like because. If a, if a son seeing his mom what she did, like play certain dudes and uh, cheating all this other mess, and you know, you can't keep a man, then I mean, you know, can't even be loyal, can't even be loyal to one man, you know what I mean? So, you know, you're always changing partners, so, you know, like I said, you're nothing to be like. <clears throat> You know, that's why a lot of these young women, they, they turn out just like them. You know, run their body count up and uh, wonder why the man they want don't want them. You know? A man that's about something, he don't want no woman that's been with every guy. You know? That, that's embarrassing. Especially a guy, a guy of value, he don't want no, no, uh, no woman like that. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you talk about people ain't like you. That's like I tell y'all people, be, be like yourself. And, uh, another thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about, generational curses. Break these generational curses in your in your family. You know, you don't have to be like your mom. If your mom talking about all men ain't all men ain't shit, you don't gotta be like her. You know, if if you want you a husband or you trying to look for a husband, you don't gotta listen to your mom or other negative people because one thing is Single woman keep woman single, and they try to brainwash you so into not wanting a man. I mean, like I said, if you stay single, that's your choice. But be that way because you want to be that, you know, by choice. Don't be that way because your mom or other people is like that. You know, you got to break the generational curse. You know, just because your mom, just because your mom was uh, with Tom, Dick, and Hurry, that don't mean you got to do that. I mean, like I said, if you do, that's that's up to you. I'm just saying, you don't have. I'm just saying, you can break the generational curses. You know, if your mom was never married, <clears throat> you don't gotta be like her. You you can get married if if you choose to. You know, you find your mate. Just saying. You know, if your if your mom was a uh, not a good mother to you. Will break the generational curse. If you have kids, be better than what your mother was to you. You know. You know. Same with this for the men right here. This for the men. Men also need to break these generational curses. You know, just because, you know, your dad, just because your dad was a player, just because he was with all these women, that don't mean you got to do it, you know? And that don't mean it's cool. You know, certain dudes in the family, to, you know, told me, they said what they used to do, they, they won't even do no more. You know, certain, certain ones tell me how they was in the streets before and, you know, they changed their life around. I respect that. Uh, some of them had told me, okay, yeah, I was with a lot of women, you know, this, that, and the third, but uh, I'm thankful that I, I ain't catching that one disease from that. You know, so... That's something to think about. 
So it takes a man, like man enough, to really say that to a younger man and basically say, okay, don't do what I did. You know, whether it's your father, your uncle, whoever, you know, grandfather, if they telling you as a, as a young man, oh, don't do what I did, I respect that, you know, because I have relatives in my family, they might have did dirt or whatever, or, you know, in their relationship, but it takes a man owning up to your, it takes a man taking accountability and actually admitting to your wrongs, it takes a man to do that because not many can do that. Not many are going to do that. So, when a man or woman admits to their wrongs, I respect that. Because none of us can't change our past, but we can change we can change the uh, direction we're going in our future. Our past is our past. You know, you got to leave that, you know, in the past. You can't really, you can't, none of us had time machines, so you can't go back. Because a lot of us, if we could go back and change some things we would but life don't work like that you know so that's my thing to y'all but yet yeah, to y'all guys uh you know you have certain dudes that that's married or been married or dudes that's been with a lot of women and they tell you their mistakes and they say oh don't do that you know take heed to what they say i mean well it's whatever to you your life is yours to live. I'm not telling nobody to live, but I'm just saying just sometimes instead of talking, just listen to people to what they saying and get whatever you can get out of what somebody's saying, you know, take it from that. That's like what I'm saying right now. Uh, just take, you know, take I, I hope I hope that I pray to God that people can take messages out of what I'm saying and help better them and help better their situation or their life. You know. I don't care if it's one thing I said that they can help change their life or change their mindset. That's my goal right now. But yeah, for y'all, y'all young men out there, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta be the father that. If your father was a bad father to you, okay. That's that's the that's the path. But that don't mean, okay, if you have kids, that don't mean you got to be a bad father to your kids, you know? Because I'm like this, everybody has that bad and that good. Ain't, ain't nobody all good, ain't nobody all bad. So, same like relationship. You're going to have good days and bad days. With life, you're going to have good and bad days. You know, so that's the thing about that. But you, you, one thing a dude, one thing a dude told me about a woman, he said, you know, he told me this a long time ago when I was doing security. He said, one thing about a woman, you got to go through the bad to make it to the good. And that's, that's very true. You know, because without the bad, you're not going to appreciate the good. Same, same in life. You're going to have rainy days. You're going to have stormy days. But without them days, you wouldn't appreciate the the, uh, the nice days, the sunny days. You wouldn't appreciate the uh, sunny days without the rainy ones. Same with in life. And like I said, I had bad days in life. I had days where I was broke. I had days where I had money. I mean, so, none of this, I mean, the, the broke days make made me. Them broke days, or them days I lost jobs, them days made me appreciate more. Made me, uh, it humbled me, like the pandemic. The pandemic humbled me. It made me appreciate more. And uh, it, it showed me that life ain't no joke. Because, I mean, through the pandemic, I lost a couple close ones, you know? But... It's, it's a it's a learning lesson like I said through the pandemic I cleaned my dad up I used to eat I used to eat out you know before the pandemic like nearly every day but I started cleaning my dad up you know 
a little while in the pandemic, I stopped going going hard in the kitchen. I started cooking cooking uh more, and I started. As a matter of fact, I I cleaned out the whole refrigerator. People thought I was crazy. I, I started cooking everything in that refrigerator. I don't care if it was Brussels sprouts or whatever it is. You know, I started cooking chicken, uh, turkey, all that. You know, vegetables, bro, you know, you name it. And like I said, I got better with time in the kitchen. So I used to not be so good in the kitchen, but in the pandemic, I found a couple gifts that I was good at. So if it weren't for the pandemic, who knows? I probably would have still been eating curry out. Like, so you know all the money I wasted? So I could have had my own restaurant. I, I wasted no a lot of money like if you gotta think about it add it up if you eat carry out like every day or every week a couple times a day that stuff add up that's money I could have saved for a rainy day but I won't think at the time but the pandemic slowed a lot of stuff up and it make you really stop and think about stuff more so that's why I say everything happened for a reason Y'all young men out there, you know, uh, you don't got to be the man that your uncle or your father was. You, you know, ain't to be better than they were. You know, you. If your father, if your father, uh, if your father did your, your mom's dirty in a relationship or, or in his murder, Aim to be better than that. You know, that's all I'm saying. You know, if your if your father couldn't be with one woman, hey, break the generational curse. You know, find you a mate, be be with one woman and settle down. You know, I'm just giving y'all some some pointers. You know, if your father wasn't wasn't loyal to his his mate, be loyal to your mate. You know, if we gotta stop these excuses because oh my parents was this and that way, that's why I, I am the way I am. You know, it's called breaking generational curses. That's what it's called. You don't gotta be a certain way because your family a certain way. You know, if your if your family if your family uh if your family you know work worked until they was dead, okay, that's them. You don't gotta you know, you have a choice in the matter. Maybe you wanna start your own business, maybe you wanna start your own clothing line or maybe you wanna have your own hair salon, make your own money, so you know. You can break the generational curse. Like I said, one thing I tell people, it's more to life than just working and dying and slaving. It's, it's way more to life than that. It's got to be. And see, people that's closed-minded, it's like they can't think past, they can't think past uh, their job. They can't think past their, their neighborhood or where they at now, their location. But they get mad at other people for moving to other places. They get mad at people for traveling or for people, you know, living their life. When that's that's how you, you know, that's what life's about, living your life. Life is not just about sitting still, going to work, coming home, and doing the same thing over and over again until you're dead. You know, it's way more to life than that. It's way more to life than cleaning up, you know. I got some relatives, like, I feel sorry for them because they was getting mad at me when I was traveling and going places. When I was gone for my little trip, they, they was mad at me. But I'm like, look, we had the same 24 hours. You're not in a jail cell, so 
you can do do the same stuff I do. I mean, you just choose not to do it. I mean, so people gonna talk regardless though. So that's one thing I'm gonna tell y'all. When you have a life, people with no life, they gonna get mad at you because you have a life and they don't. <laughs> you know? When you're happy, when you're smiling, they gonna get mad at you because they might be miserable, they, they not they not smiling on a regular, they not happy, so they're gonna envy you. And the envy, like I said, the envy can come from any 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 direction. Yeah, your significant other might be might be mad that you have a life and they don't. They might be mad that, that you're happy and they're not. You know, so the envy is real. You know, this like this like what money bag yo say. That the hate be real, but the love be fake. So like I said, there's people that act like they love you, but really can't stand you deep down. They, you know. That fake love be that fake love be feeling so real at times, but sometimes really it be hate that people had towards you and anim secret animosity towards you, you know that you don't know about. And it's not that you did anything to these people, you know. You can just be doing nothing but living your life, living for you. That'll tick people off that don't have no life. That'll take people off that's living for the world and, and see you living for you and your, your kids or you you living for you and your uh, significant other. People don't, some people that they don't understand that. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that, that's a lesson to y'all. Be your own role model. You know, be your own leader. You know, damn trying to follow these people that you think are popping, you know, on uh, on Instagram or or wherever else they at. Cause one another thing I learned, uh, fo followers don't equal dollars. So a person on social media can have a million followers, but not have a damn dollar in their pocket. Not not have five dollars in their damn bank account. A, a person will be Gucci and Louis down, but not have nowhere to stay. So that's like I say, looks can be deceived. Just like you can have a rapper, right? A lot of these rappers be locked up with scams and stuff like that and trying to con people. So a lot of them not even living how they claim they living on them records. A lot of them be professional lives too. You know, basically making superheroes for themselves. Very few you have a living a the life they betraying, but most ain't. C certain people they just they just know how to make stuff sound good. You know, make it make it look good. A person, a person gonna look like they got money, but not had none. You no, know, looks are deceiving. A person gonna look like a bum, but can be well off, can be can be wealthy. You know, might might can have a house in the hills. You know, you <laughs> certain things you you wouldn't know because look why looks are deceiving. Yeah, it, it, it is possible, you know, to break the generational curse. I mean, if if it's in you to do that, if, if you're, uh, that's the type of person you are, you can do it. You don't got to be who your family wants you to be.
you know, an Arizona relationship, it was relatives that was giving me, someone was giving me stupid advice to try to be like them. I'm like, you know, I'm not like y'all, so hey. But see, calm was real, so the same people that's trying to give me the fucked up advice to fuck my situation up, the same people, they saying now how, oh, you had some of the women, oh, uh, they be talking about, oh, they be praying for God to send them a man, you know, the same woman, some of these same women that gave me fucked up advice, or trying to give a uh, younger woman fucked up advice, you know, and try to be like them. But these same women talking about, oh yeah, uh, talking about, yeah, uh, I'm waiting on God to send me somebody good, and you know, I'm like, look, <laughs> calm, you know, calm is real, so you can't do all this fucked up shit. And and think the karma, karma forgot because one thing about karma, karma don't discriminate. Karma gives you, it, 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 ser it serves you what you deserve. Remember that about karma. Karma, it serves you exactly what you deserve. So, I don't care if you did stuff in the past. And karma don't karma don't always mean that something gonna happen uh, today or this month or this week or this year. It can be long time down the line. So if you did some cruddy, cruddy stuff to somebody, you wonder why shit ain't going right in your life. Well, you gotta look at what you did in the past. You know, cause karma don't forget. So the same woman is crying about oh. How they can't find a man and all, all this bullshit. Be some of the same ones who who had good men in their past, but they fucked them over. You know, whether they was disloyal to them or whether they was lying or or whatever they did. You know, see that that's things they don't keep in mind. They think, oh, because I changed that that change shit it don't it don't matter. You know, the thing is, you did it, and you see, you old, if you old enough, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Same with some of the dudes in the family and some other people. They was trying to, some, even some buddies of mine, trying to give me fucked up advice when I was in my situation, but I didn't, I paid them no mind because why? They was heading down the path I wasn't going. So some people I cut off, some people I just had to block out. But some of the dudes now, uh, and, and you know, they trying to give me fucking advice. One relative, man, he wondering why, oh, talking about uh, all he asked for is stability and all this and a good a woman and all this. I'm like, look, Nobody wanna hear that bullshit because where was that where was this energy at when you was when 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 you was when you was dogging out this and that chick? Where was that energy at? You know, see that's why I say people they have selective memory. They 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 wanna remember what they wanna remember. But see, people that know them see right through that bullshit. People that know that the shit they did in the past, they not falling for that. They can, they can, they can sell that bullshit to people who don't know no better. See, I know better, so certain people can't sell me no damn dreams, cause <laughs> they already told me what they did, you know, in the, in the past. Also, I might I might have witnessed some, you know, some uh I might have witnessed some fuck shit they did in the past, so they can't sell me the dream. So like I said, when they trying to paint the picture of how they not the, these other people that don't know no better, 
They can do that with them, but see, I stay quiet. I don't say nothing because it's not my job to call out everything. It's not my job to expose everything. So, what's in darkness come to the light. That's why I say I don't want to hear these damn sob stories, people saying that uh, they can't find a, a good person because when you had somebody good, you, you fuck it up. So, I don't want to hear the whining and, and complaining. I don't want to hear it. And you can't ask God to send you send you a good man or a good woman. If, you know, you ain't do right by the good man or good woman you had in your past. You, you had your chance. So, and it's funny to me because a, a lot of these... Uh, A lot of these women that roll like that in the past, or a lot of these dudes, chances are they they gonna be, chances are they gonna be up and they still complain about the same shit they complain about now, not being to find nobody because you you just can't like I said it's, it's but so much you can do, and that's another thing I'm gonna tell y'all. Be aware of what you're doing because. All them excuses, y'all got to throw them damn excuses in the trash. It's what you want to do in the moment. So you got to take really what comes with it, you know, the repercussions. So if you decide to stick a uh, step out on your significant other, you know, you got to take the consequences of what comes with that. Keep, keep this in mind. Real is where, real is red figures everywhere. So if you had your real one, if you had your solid one, and you you fucked them over, well, don't get mad if down the line you can't find another one like that because it's rare. Shit, real, real is nearly extinct. It's like it's like we the whole damn world fake it's like we live in a fake world it's like fake is the new real so that's why I tell people and you know some dudes have told me you know as far as like I said being a man they, they man up and told, told me older dudes they man up and told me uh, oh I did this and the third and I did it basically because it's what I want to do. So I respect that. Yeah, I, I respect that right there. You know, a, a dude telling me that, you know, a decision he made, that same with a woman. I respect a woman more if she tells me, okay, I moved this and that certain type of way and I did this this and that because it's what I want to do in the moment. Now if you tell me that I respect you but if you if you just moving like you ain't do no wrong and uh, it was just the, all the other person's fault I can't respect that. That's what we always talk about taking accountability you know and I know it may be hard facing what you did but I mean, if you did something, I mean, hey, own up to it best way you can and just try to move forward. This why certain, this why certain doors I never open, because certain doors you open, you can't close them again. Once, once you open certain doors, they open forever. You know, certain, certain, uh, certain lanes I never went in because once you go in that lane you stuck and it's like certain things you do it's like uh, certain things gonna stick with you forever it's like uh, certain mistakes even certain mistakes you make 
Sir mistakes, uh, I don't care how much you apologize to a person or how much you ask forgiveness. It's like stuff will never be the same again anyway after you do certain stuff. That's why I said I'm, I try to be aware of what I'm doing. And I think before I do, because too many people, they just doing stuff in a moment because they mad or this and that or for revenge. But not knowing the backlash after that. It's a certain, be aware of what y'all doing. The certain stuff you do in life, you can't take back. You know? Yeah, certain things you do, you cannot take back. I mean, you can ask for forgiveness, but certain things, certain, you're not going to even feel the same like after you do certain stuff. Like, so that's why I say, uh, That's another reason I say when I was in my situations or whatever, certain stuff I just ain't do. You know, that in my relationship because, believe it or not, nowadays, certain people knew I was a good dude. So certain, certain, I can go back if I wanted to, you know, because uh, if people know you a good person and you meant well, then, and especially if you ended off good terms with somebody, the possibilities are endless. You know, you hear about it all the time. You hear about people divorcing and then remarrying again after after uh, years. You hear people hooking back up because uh, yeah, that that's that's how it is. You know. So that's why when people talk about old, oh, just because somebody's an ex, that don't mean ex don't mean bad all the time. That you know, when people hear the term ex, oh, uh, how the job uh, end, or you know, so ex husband, ex wife ain't always bad because you got you got people to get back together. Some people get back together and work, you know, work things out. Everybody don't end all bad terms. Everybody ends uh, differently. Everybody don't end the same way. Every every couple. So just because somebody ends and tell people that uh, it's not always bad. Some people separate, you know, find themselves a little bit more and then, you know, link back up. So... Like I said, when you screw up with a good person, you're only cheating yourself because hmm, good people are hard to come by. You know, it's like genuine people. They they hard to come by. So if you mess them over, whether it's a man or a, a woman, it's people that still paying for that past karma still to this day. So. <laughs> So if you just in that mindset where, oh, I'm just doing this and that because I want to do it, okay. I mean, that's your choice, but realize the karma that's going to come, the karma that's going to come later. So don't be mad at the karma because you made the decision to do what you, you know, what you did. nice out here so uh I'm gonna probably run and give me some coffee in a, in a little while but yeah just wanted to drop some stuff on y'all uh y'all new to the channel make sure you uh hit the thumbs up you know get in the comments tell me what y'all think if you new to the channel make sure you subscribe the offering DCA I'm out. You choose it, don't lose it, don't